We are here with Mimi, beauty blogger from Mimi Moments, and also Shayna Tyler, who is a fitness instructor. And thank you so much, ladies, for coming on and talking to us. I really wanted to talk to you guys about health and beauty, um, especially for what it means for black women of color. Um, can you guys just tell me what beauty means to you, what your definition of natural beauty is? Well, for me, beauty is all about confidence. And I'm not in the, I guess, the idea of what we have of what confidence is this woman who has no insecurities and loves herself and is just on top of the world all the time because Beyonce has insecurities, right? So to me, a beautiful, to be naturally beautiful is recognizing your insecurities, but accepting yourself and loving yourself anyway. So I think that's when you're naturally beautiful. It's just like, I'm a woman and sometimes I don't feel that cute, but it's okay. In general, I love myself. And exactly. you can always tell when someone's like that and that makes them a beautiful person. So true. I feel like natural beauty is being able to accept your flaws and also being mm -hmm. able to evolve through them. Mm -hmm. And I always think of Nicole Bitchy. Do you guys watch, have you ever um, followed her, Nicole Bitchy? She used oh, to XO Nicole, be, right? Yes, XO yeah, Nicole now. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. and, but before she was Nicole Bitchy. And I'm just mm -hmm. like, and she started transitioning into like the woman empowerment thing. Yes. And I'm like, how is she gonna be talking about people, gossiping about people, <laughs> and she all on this woman empowerment? Yeah. So I think it's great that she evolved through that. Because she, she realized herself that, you know, what I'm doing isn't the most, like, beautiful thing. And mm -hmm. she evolved through that and made EXO Nicole, and now she's doing great things. You're a fitness trainer. Yeah. And so why is it so important for you to, like, that fitness is key for you, health and fitness? I definitely think it's all about, I totally agree with Mimi on that, it's all about just owning it and really what fitness means to me. So. Um, I really think that there's so much emphasis on our bodies as women, right? And there's always, especially as women of color, we have a lot of pressure on us to have like big booties, right? And like just <laughs> all these different things. And um, really why I went into fitness is because of my own personal journey of loving myself and loving my body and loving who I am as not only a woman but a woman of color. So learning to embrace that my thighs are a little bit thicker, learning to embrace, you know, that maybe, you know, I'm going to walk a little bit differently, you know, walk with a little <laughs> bit of sweat, you know, and I think that I think that it's so important um, in beauty standards to realize that we are different and owning it. I think you totally took the words out of my mouth when I'm thinking about beauty. I think it's just accepting what it is. Sometimes mm -hmm. you just gotta accept yourself and that's really about, you just really have to work out for you. Yeah. You know, don't work out for anybody else, work out for you. Exactly. Yeah. And I think that is a big thing, like how media makes us feel like we're not good enough, but mm -hmm. then our features mm -hmm. are like glamorized all over the place, you know? Oh, yeah. And I, I love the fact that now like more women are working out, more people are like thinking about their health. Yeah. And what like really inspires me is that when I see fitness trainers that aren't like this skinny or that aren't like crazy built. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like that with you, like you're, I can tell you're in shape, but I can't like look at you and be like, oh, she has like a 20 pack or like she has like crazy muscles, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So for you ladies, what would you say is like your mantra for like your life? Like when it comes to like making you feel good about yourself, what do you like tell yourselves every day? I tell myself that happiness I don't strive for happiness, I strive for joy. Mm -hmm. That's what I tell myself. And that's, nice. that's something that I really always tell myself because I think that happiness is so temporary, but when you're joyful, it's, it's through anything, through it any circumstance. Through you. Yeah. you know, even when you feel a little bloated, even when you feel a little <laughs> bit down, even when, you know, it, I, I think that's my mantra. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> well, mine uh, is feel the fear and do it anyway, and it's radically changed my, mon my life. And part of like going back to what I said about being confident and beautiful and mm -hmm. all that stuff is being t willing to put yourself in situations where you can grow and trying new things. So mm -hmm. for me, it was just starting to wear color. Mm -hmm. That was very scary for me. And that may seem very simple to some people. Purple. And now my hair that. is purple. <laughs> right? So that was me feeling the fear of like, oh God, I'm wearing a bright yellow shirt and I used to feel like I'm dark, I can't wear yellow. And now I'm wearing so feel the fear and do it anyway in every aspect of my life is I think what's helped me to be more confident and to feel more beautiful. That's beautiful. That's yeah. Wonderful. But question, is that like a New York thing wearing color, like not wearing color? Mm. I feel like it's a it New is. York thing. 
Yeah, I mean, in a in, sense. In, in the winter time, I would say yes, because it's always cold here. I don't know. There's an all black <laughs> uniform in New York. I feel right? like everyone's always in black. Black, like is, black chic. is the chic. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I chic think black color. is the chic. For, because most of the time it's cold here, <laughs> you know. But in the summertime, I'm not wearing all black. But well, this is me. If it's like November and you're wearing a bright yellow coat, everyone's gonna stare at you because you stick yeah. out. You know? True. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're embracing color. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's but I think my mantra for life is um, live freely. Like I've had like experiences in the past where I've allowed people to like dictate kind of how I run my life and live my life. Mm. And so now like every day I'm just like live freely and if free means like me realizing what makes me happy, like eating ice cream mm. or just like sitting and watching the sunset or taking a hike, like let myself live freely and enjoy those like little moments of happiness. Yeah. Thank you so much ladies for coming on Hey Mia. Um, and I'm sure everybody's gonna want to know more about you guys. So you can find more information about these two lovely ladies on our website. And also at the end of the show, we'll be posting up their information so you can like them, follow them, and love them just like I do. All right, so <laughs> thank you so much. We'll be right back with more Hey Mia.